Good morning, good morning. Vindicate me, O oh Lord. We're in the book of Psalm 26, and thank you for joining me as we continue in the Psalm by David. And he's saying, Vindicate me, O oh Lord, for I have walked in my integrity. <clears throat> I have walked in my integrity. So if we look into um, verse number 12, it says, My foot stands on level ground. And here he's saying, Vindicate me, Lord. I find in this in this psalm three or four things where whereby we can rest upon to stand on level ground. And um, first of all, he's saying, I have walked in my integrity. That is, I have lived an upright life. I have done what I know is right to do. I have not <clears throat> proclaimed one thing and did something else, lived another way. I have walked in my integrity. I have lived an upright life before you. And the second thing he says, I have trusted in the Lord without wavering. I walked in my integrity and I trusted in you, God. I trusted in you. I put my faith and my confidence in you. Throughout this life, we are called upon, we are required by God. The Bible says without faith, it is impossible to please God. Without faith is impossible. And Jesus said, have faith in God. So the summary of a Christian life and experience, um, everything can rest upon that one word, faith. Faith, not blind faith, not blind faith. Blind faith is um, not knowing what you're trusting in. But we know who we're trusting in. We know that there is a God. He's given us his word. He came into the world 2,000 years ago. We've had our own experiences with God. The Holy Spirit resides in us. It's not blind faith. We know what we believe in. So our faith rests on He says, I have trusted in the Lord without wavering. Now, James said, the person who doubts is like the, like the waves of the sea. You know, it's just going up and down. And that person um, will not have what he asks of God. And many times in our lives as Christians, we may, our faith may waver. And maybe it's today your faith is wavering because of some circumstance in your life. But God is always with us. He never leaves us. The Bible says, I will never leave you nor forsake you. I'm with you to the end of the age. And God relies upon us to trust in him. And, um, you know, he is um, he's disappointed when we don't. Like, like Jesus said to his, his disciples, why did you trust in me? Why did you doubt? Why do you have so much fear? Why did you doubt? So the Psalms is saying, Vindicate me, Lord. I've walked in my integrity and I have trusted in the Lord. I have trusted in the Lord without wavering. Verse number two, he goes on and he asks God to test him. He says, God, prove me, O Lord, and try me. Prove me and try me. Test my heart and my mind. So even though in verse one, he's saying, I have walked in my integrity. We don't know what we don't know. And we don't know the wrong things in our hearts and lives unless the Holy Spirit reveals that to us. So in verse 2, he's saying, prove me, God. Try me, God. Test my heart. Test my mind. Come, God, and expose the evil that is there within my heart, the evil that is there within my life. None of us are perfect. None of us are perfect. I mean, we look back in our, upon our lives and there are things that we, we've done that are wrong. Um, things we're ashamed of, um, we've sinned against God, and even as Christians, you know, there are things we do that are not pleasing to God. And there are things that we're doing and we're not aware of them, and they're displeasing in the eyes of God. And that is what the psalmist wants to get to. He's saying, you know, I want to walk in integrity. I'm trusting you, Lord, but I'm coming and I'm submitting myself. I'm subjecting myself to you to prove me, to test me, to try me. Uh, test my heart and my mind so that I can even, I can please you even more. So Lord, today we come and we ask you to touch us, Lord, and just like the psalmist, we're saying, Lord, prove us, test us, try our hearts and our minds. Show us where we are wrong, wrong attitudes, wrong words, wrong actions, wrong desires, wrong motives wrong thoughts, things in our hearts, wrong habits, so we can please you, God, in the name of Jesus today. Touch everyone 
and minister to them. Amen and amen. God bless. See you tomorrow.